Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Val. Let's talk about ZZZ X Street Fighter. Zenless Zone Zero dropped a pretty massive teaser trailer on their social media account. It's about a Zenless Zone Zero X Street Fighter 6 creators roundtable, and the full reveal will be on June 29th. Whatever they're going to do, or whatever this is going to be, this is still a very hyped thing in my opinion because there's always potential for a collab. Collabs in gacha games are always very popular and always a very big thing. Me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of collab because I think when a collab happens, that means that the game itself doesn't have enough cool characters or that the roster isn't strong on its own. You know, the originality of the characters in the original game are not strong or good. So they go take other characters from other companies that did have a high impact, you know? Now, I always get that feeling and I always find it very, like, annoying when it happens in a game that I like. Because I like the originality of a game and I just like that universe as a whole. So if in other, all of a sudden characters from other universes and things join, it just feels off and they're out of place. So I'm not a big fan of it. But I understand that other people find it very cool. And in some games, it does make sense, you know? Let's just take a game like Super Smash, you know? It makes sense. It, that's the point of the game. Or a game like Dead by Daylight, the horror game, where all the other horror characters and same genre just come together. In some games, it would make sense. But let's take a game like League of Legends. If you have League of Legends and then all of a sudden you would have Tifa walking around from Final Fantasy <laughs> and she would like kill everyone or whatever. It's weird and it's super out of touch. And I think Hoyoverse has actually a very strong roster and Hoyoverse's strength is their character designs. So let's say... A Street Fighter character like Kami or something would come in there and would all of a sudden be a playable character or skin, whatever it is. It would feel a little bit weird. I'm not going to judge yet until I see the last product if it would happen. Now, quick disclaimer, of course, this might never happen. This could just be them talking, playing their games together and just have a discussion, having a good time, right? Because Xenazone Zero was inspired from Street Fighter. You know, they had took a lot of inspiration for Zenless Zone Zero. So they might just have the developers talk there and I just have a good time. So there was a little bit, it was a 30 second clip. Let's look at that before we continue. Yeah, it's good music. <laughs> you know, it's like the little hype music. We just see some Zelda Zone Zero shenanigans. Game producer from Zelda Zone Zero. Looking, uh, animation looking good though, I'm not gonna lie. Let me get the Street Fighter part. Game producer from Street Fighter. And then the game director from Street Fighter. And then just ZZZX Street Fighter. It looks crazy. Creators Roundtable. So this doesn't confirm that we're going to get collabs. But it is a very cool and big thing. Because if Zenless Zone Zero was inspired from them and they are looking to collab, this, having all these men on the same table, you know, all these creators, that could be a very big thing. Because Hoyoverse is not a stranger to collabing. I did a little bit of research and apparently the, in Honkai Impact 3rd, there was a Neon Genesis Evangelion collab before. And of course in Genshin Impact, the, hey, the Aloy collab. <laughs> we don't talk about that one. That was terrible, but it is still a collab and it's still Sony PlayStation, you know? So there's still a possibility that this might happen. And because Zenless Zone Zero is in such a tough position right now with Wuthering Waves, with all the other contenders in the mix and... Zen Zone Zero is being put on the spot with all the controversy around it. They're still hyped for it, but they're a little bit in an awkward position right now. So if they would actually pull out a collab with like fighting games or Street Fighter, then that'd be a huge, huge amount of people that will actually check out Zen Zone Zero just because something of their favorite game is in it, right? It always works like that. Now, I do have to say that Zen Zone Zero has to step up their game if they want to collab with Street Fighter. Street Fighters and just the fighting game community as a whole are up for a fight. They are sweaty. They care about the PvP. They It's a 1v1 system. It's not a team game, right? It's individual skill. So they do not care about a game which is casual and, and you can't have any type of skill level in it. If Zelda Zone Zero is not going to be a hard game or it's going to be casual and just like for fun and it's not going to be in-depth or difficult, the gameplay itself, then the Street Fighter collab, in my opinion, doesn't really have that much value or strength if it would happen, you know, if, you, if they would collab with a character or whatever. Because the Street Fighter community is, are going to drop this game ASAP if it's not going to be worth playing. It is a very big thing, and I do think there's a lot of, like, opinions here and things to consider. 
But yet again, this could be just a get together and them just playing their, their game, having a conversation. But I do have a question, Mark. Like, why would they come together? Why would they get together? They are completely different, like, genres in, in general, like Capcom and then Hoyoverse. Why are they, like, all of a sudden just being friends, you know? I find it a little bit weird, and I think there's more to this than just a random talk and them playing together. Which, if that would happen, hey, that's fine. It's cool to see these creators from these different games hanging out and having a good time, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe they are going to promote something for their game, or it, it might just be very simple. But I think that because Sandless on Zero is in such a awkward position right now, they're like, okay, we're going to step up our game. Because now the competition is there, right? Genshin Impact has Wuthering Waves as a competition now. So Genshin Impact has to step up. Wuthering Waves are just, it's just killing it right now with all the, the upgrades and whatever. Now, Zelda's on Zero and Wuthering Waves is also kind of a clash. Because it's kind of the same combat playstyle, you know? So all Hoyaverse has to step up their game. Now, the Genshin Impact versus Honkai Star Rail. It is the same company. But still, <laughs> Honkai Star Rail was clearly the favorite child, you know? So there's a lot of competition now, which is good. I talked about this on my channel before competition is extremely good for the player base no one will lose the genshin impact players will be happier the honkai star Wars players will be happier the wuthering waves players will be happier happier and the zzz players will be happier everyone will win because all of them have to start trying to make their game as good as possible be as generous as possible and have the best gameplay as possible this is only good hey pause the video right now over 90% of you people that watch my videos actually are not subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would actually consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind after. Let's continue with the video. ZZZ now taking Street Fighter into the mix like, okay, you know, we have to step up our game. Bam, let's throw in a Street Fighter collab. Let's see how the player base likes this, you know, because we want to be that gem among the sea of sand. You know, we want to be that seashell. We want to be that special gem. And that is very good to see. And I really hope that Hoyaverse is going to take more action because in my opinion, they have been sitting on their butts and are doing enough for the games, for certain games like Genshin Impact. And now ZCC maybe a little bit, but Genshin Impact was struggling, right? We needed so many upgrades. We did so many things and it never came to the light. Now, Star Rail took a little bit more action, and that has been a very good relationship. I love it. I don't care about Genshin Impact, you know. I care about ZZZ. I think ZZZ looks incredible. The animations, the feel of the game, how it looks, you know. It breathes, it speaks, like, just fun to play, in my opinion. And that's why I wanted to succeed. I want it to succeed. I really do. And I like Wuthering Waves as well. I play it, you know, and I like Honka Star Rail. Hey, if ZZZ is a fun game, playing that as well. There's no losing here, and I want them to succeed, and I would be very sad to see such a cool game and the streetwear and just the whole mechanic, you know, the comic style. It would be so, such a waste if it would go down the drain and it would be a flop, you know? If anything, you know, whatever their cards they're holding for us, any type of secrets or cool collabs or just upgrades for the game as a whole, whatever they're bringing to the table, I do really hope it's going to be something that keeps the game alive and will be a very good game in the long term because i want it to succeed and i want it to be a part of my routine you know if i make videos for you guys and i now have to play Wuthering waves and honkai star rail zelda zone zero would be in the mix hey the more the merrier the more fun and more videos for you guys you know so it's, it's i really hope that they can pull this off and i hope that they're going to make the game better because there's they did pull a, a little bit of a insane move they wanted to put their release of zenda zone zero on the new patch of wuthering waves right they wanted to make sure that when wuthering waves 1.1 came out that zenda zone zero was going to have that release date so no one would play wuthering waves and a lot of people were going to, were going to try zenda zone zero and then to the end of time they would clash with patches so it would be extremely competitive and that to me showed that they were not really down to improve their game, just hinder Wuthering Waves so they would get more players overall. That didn't speak to me as like, all right, we're actually going to try to improve our game. No, we're just going to clash with you and we'll see what happens, you know? It's still a business move and it's always a business move. But then Wuthering Waves was like, Kuro Games was like, nah, uh-uh. We're going to go a few weeks earlier. So that doesn't happen. So we are still a very big competitor and we our game is going to be out there, you know? And I think this is very cool to see because I made a video about this before that they're, at, they're literally at war, right? <laughs> and it's very cool to see them clashing. So what I want from Zealous on Zero is not just making it a money warfare of like, we just want the most money and whatever we're going to do, we just try to make the most money. No, of course, I get it. It's a business. They want money from us. That is okay. That is normal. 
I want them to make a good game and then they'll be rewarded with money. That's how the formula should be. Same with Wuthering Ways. Have a good product and you'll get the money. And the same goes for ZZZ. Have a good product and then you'll be rewarded with the money. Not just lazy, oh, we're Hoyaverse, our characters are good and we'll get the money anyway, right? I don't want that. I want a good product and you'll be rewarded from it. So I'm very excited to see how this is going to unravel. And I'm actually very excited to see on June 29th what they're going what is going to be in store for us and what they're going to talk about and what their topics are going to be if it's actually just the, the creators just having a, a laugh and they're playing each other's games but playing each other's games i don't know there's more to it i think but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if this is an overhype if, if it's just a fun little get gathering or if it's more and it's going to be like a collab or if there's way more to it and it's more depths to these layers you know if there's something happening here that might be very exciting i would love to hear you guys takes on this and let me know what you guys think and what the future of zelda zone zero is going to be you know this is a very big topic and i would love to hear you guys takes on that make sure to like and subscribe it really helps out the channel it means the world to me if you could do that make sure to join the discord we're trying to grow the community even further and if you want to support the channel even further then become a member i love you all and i'll see everyone in the next video. Bye-bye, my beautiful daddies. Take care. Peace.